Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Three tips here. And Mrs. Three Tips has been at it again. So what we're going to have to do is sort through all this material and get it classified. And then we're going to do a refining, but we're going to do something a little different this time. People are wondering, how does Mrs. Sweet Tips get all this gold? Where does she get it? I've asked her to let me film her in action at some of the sales that she goes to, but she doesn't want me to do that because it's very competitive. And so she's asked me to keep that to myself and I must honor her wishes. So I'll just let you know, she gets up early and she gets there first and that's how she gets the medal. I've got the carat gold all sorted out and I've got the measurements and weights calculated. Here's our 14K stuff. That's 101.6. Here's the 10K stuff. That's 49.5. And then here's the 18K material. That's 3.9. We need 167.3 grams of sterling silver. But instead of sterling this time, what we're going to use is copper. I've got some scrap pieces that I had laying around. And that comes up to 163.5. Need 167.3. So this should do it. So what we'll do now is go out and quart this gold with these pieces of scrap copper. Here we go. Here's our encorded gold, encorded with copper. And if you take a look at that, it's got a rose color to it. That's because it's rose gold. Normal yellow carat gold has alloys of other metals, silver, copper, and zinc. And in order to make rose gold, 
They decrease the amount of white metals in the alloy and increase the amount of copper and that's what produces rose gold. We're going to begin by adding some distilled water. Now we'll put some nitric acid in here to form a 50-50 dilute nitric acid solution. Start pulling that copper back out that we just added with these nitric acid boils. All right, you can see we've got an angry reaction going on. This will be our first nitric acid boil. Let's go ahead and get this up on the heating pad. And when that calms down a little bit, we'll add some heat. I'm going to put this on time lapse and I'll be uh, doing all these nitric boils during that time lapse. Here we go. What we've done here is reduced the gold concentration in that alloy by adding the copper, alloying additional copper, and we've reduced the gold concentration down to 25% or one quarter pure gold and three quarters copper and other base metals that were already in the alloys that we started with. And by doing that, now the nitric acid can penetrate to the core of each piece of that encoded gold. It cannot penetrate the high carat gold. It would just sit there and not react with that nitric. So we had to add the additional copper to reduce the gold concentration down to about 25%. This is our final nitric acid boil. Pull this off the heat now and empty it. It's this container. You can see the solution there is pretty much colorless. So I think we've got all the uh, all the non-gold metals pour, pulled out of here by now. Our water boil is complete. Now we'll pour this off into our uh, solution that has copper in it over here. And give it a rinse. Stilled water. Now we're gonna set this over here on our uh, heating pad so we can dissolve our gold. Recovery process is complete. What we'll do is we'll begin by adding some hydrochloric acid about, uh, now let's put it up to about the 400, that's about the 350 milliliter level. Now let's add uh, some sulfuric acid what this will do is this will react with any lead that may be in there, form lead sulfate, and then we can filter it out. That's going to be about 85 grams of gold or so, I think. So what we'll do is we're going to measure out about 40 milliliters of nitric acid. I'm going to add this right on in, and then we're going to dissolve this gold. I'm going to convert to time lapse here so we can see the whole thing. Keep your eye on that jar of blue liquid in the background. That's our copper solution. It's got silver in it. 
and you'll see there's a layer of silver chloride forming on the surface there. That's because the hydrochloric acid in the aqua regia that we're using to dissolve the gold is getting down in that beaker and converting the little bit of silver that's in that blue liquid to silver chloride. This is an example of why we shouldn't refine gold and silver at the same time in the fume hood. I've got this evaporated down now and uh, got all that excess nitrate that may have been in there removed through the evaporation process. Now what we have is a, uh, a beaker full of ice. All we're going to do is pour our gold solution into this beaker of ice. This ice, cool it down, rehydrate it. Concentrated solution of gold. That filter don't look too bad and that's a testament to how clean the copper will get this gold I think copper works better than silver but I refine silver so it doesn't make any sense for me to use copper and what we're gonna do is try to pour this back through the same filter a second time now What this does is the filter's clogged up with with whatever little bit of contamination was in there and so now it will be able to filter this cloudy solution and filter out even finer particulate so that's why we're adding it back to the same filter a second time here you can see the difference it makes running that gold solution back through the same filter a second time. That solution still looks a little bit cloudy, but it's better than the first pass through the filter. So if we've got it to clean up like that with two passes, let's go ahead and try a third pass and see how that does for us. Let me get this out here. Our solution is crystal clear now after that third pass. Here's what's in the filter. I'm not gonna rinse that out. Instead, what I'll do is just uh, pull this filter off and I'm gonna stick it back here in this jar out of the way. And now we'll transfer gold solution 
into this beaker. It's full of ice. Whatever, I have two more ounces of gold in solution like I have here. I always add ice to keep the solution cool, to keep the reaction cool when I add the precipitant. up now I've got some stump out which is sodium metabisulfite by uh, bonide get this gold precipitated out now here we go add the first spoon in right now and precipitate out our pure gold Keep adding spoons of stump out until they get all the gold to precipitate. That's four, five, six, seven spoons. That should do it. That should get all our gold out of the solution for us. And we should have all the gold dropped at this point. Let's verify that with a Stannis test. There you can see every bit of the gold has been precipitated. I've allowed the gold to settle completely. And for right now what we'll do is this is the uh, copper solution. I'm adding some hydrochloric acid going to precipitate out the silver that's in here as silver chloride with hydrochloric acid and then we'll recover that later on and just dispose of the uh, copper solution in my waste treatment bucket here you can see the uh, silver chloride that's formed it looks like a lot but it's actually a very small amount. And we'll let that settle out and then I'll recover it and add it to my uh, silver chloride jar. And then one day we'll do a recovery on that and show you how to get the pure silver out of the silver chloride. Now what we'll do is get this waste solution off of our gold. First, let me do this. Let me rinse this funnel out. There's a filter in here that's uh, got gold in it. I didn't rinse that down into the main batch of gold because I was concerned that it may contain some silver chloride. Oh boy. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and pour this waste solution off into this waste container 
and then I'm going to rinse it multiple times with some distilled water. Here we go. differently this time we're gonna boil the gold powder in some distilled water before we do the uh, hydrochloric acid boil and we'll pour off this water boil Adding some hydrochloric acid and we'll boil it in hydrochloric acid now I'm gonna pour this off hydrochloric acid boil then I'm gonna rinse it a couple times with some cold hydrochloric acid and then I'm gonna rinse it multiple times with distilled water Gold boiling in water now for about five or ten minutes. Now what we'll do is reach in here, pour this off now to our waste container. directly into a uh, whoa that was lucky to a milk dish here boom to the melt table this looks pretty good let's melt us up an ingot here we go
Here's our pure gold bar. Single refining. Looks spectacular. Man, that's nice. We were expecting 82.7 grams of pure gold from this refining. Actual yield is 79.3. We'll take it. It's a few grams shy. Might have been something in there that wasn't actually carrot gold. But man, that thing looks nice. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for watching.